Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about installing the Avaya 1x Agent Client software with the installation wizard. The first thing we need to do to install our client software is download the software from Avaya's support site. Uh, navigate to the products, click on products, then I'll do an alphabetical search. Scroll down. And we're looking for A. And let's go down to via 1x agent. And now that we have the 1x agent, uh, we just click on downloads and documents. Just scroll down to the list. And we're looking for the 1x SP1 client agent 2.5. Let's click on that. And from here, we just want to make sure we have the right software. So March 21st, 2012, date released. And uh, this is the zip file that we want to download. So we'll click on that and start the download. And we'll just want to save it. And now that our download's complete, uh, let's open up the folder and take a look at it. Here we have our zipped archive and we'll just need to expand it. And so we'll just click on it. And we'll just extract the application folder. So now we have our 1x agent setup.exe available for us to run. But there's one thing we need to check, and that's if we have the Microsoft.NET Framework installed on this machine, and we can quickly do that. So to check for the .NET Framework, we need to go to the Settings Control Panel. From the Control Panel, Add Remove Programs. And since I'm just checking, I'm going to just use the Remove a Program. And now that we have the list of all the applications installed, we'll just scroll down to the Microsoft section. And we do see that we have uh, Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 Service Pack 1, which is the minimum requirement. If your system does not have the Microsoft.NET Framework, you can download the installation package from the Microsoft website at the link shown. And now that we have all our prerequisites in place, we can go ahead and start with the software installation. Just to start the installation, we click on the 1x agent setup.exe. And from the welcome screen, we click on the next. From here, we need to review the licensing agreement. Once we've completed reviewing the licensing agreement, we click on the accept the terms and then click on next. Enter in personal information, so I'll put in my full name and the organization, in this case it's VIA, and click on next. And you can place it in any uh, directory you can specify, and in this case I'm just going to use the default. And uh, we're going to enable centralized storage of the profile. I'll do that so then I can use it on multiple computers. Enter in the central management server IP address and port number. Click on next. Select the language pack. And in this case, I'm, I'm not going to select any additional languages, just going to use the English language. Next, use Windows credential for logon and uh, enable tutorials so that they'll be installed. And enable dial from Internet Explorer. Now, the one option that's not shown here because I don't have Firefox installed would be uh, direct dial from Firefox. Click on next. And I don't have the video drivers for video installed as you can see it's not it's grayed out here so I'm not going to check that and just click on next so I know that I'm not going to be using video with this installation 
If you are planning on using video, you need to have the Polycom drivers installed before you start the installation. And I'm just going to accept the TTY device baud rate at uh, 4545. Next. And finally, the last step will be to install. And then we'll get a progress of the installation. And now uh, it's completed all the installation, and we can launch the 1x agent by checking on this and finish our installation. And that concludes our demo for today. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.